the planning that began over a year ago to the construction that lasted just a week. And now, the completion of Valparaiso, the next generation. Back in 1984, Valparaiso community built the Valparaiso Park here in Valpo. 20 years later, the community is back to build Valparaiso, the next generation. If I want to eat with my friends, I might make myself sick, but if I don't want to get sick, I have to eat alone in my room. Diagnosed with celiac disease her freshman year at Valpo, Sarah Peters does not want her gluten allergy to prevent her from living the college experience. But with gluten-free options very limited on campus, it is quite difficult to do just that. As a student representative for Udi's Gluten-Free, Sarah wants to see some changes. How does she plan to go about getting those changes and making the campus a little more gluten-free aware with a little help from Wheat Watchers? Well, I think one of uh, the most important things, particularly in view of uh, MLK uh, celebrations, is that uh, we must not be silent in the face of uh, injustice. You know? Thank you for joining us for a VUTV exclusive, The Current State of Senate. It was Hayes with the jumper, but this time no good. He gets his own rebound. Puts it up again, misses again, and Corey Petros puts it back up and in. Made the free throw, tied at 68. Two and a half minutes left in the game, Crusaders up by three. And if you need a big shot, who else would you go to? AP for three. He had the art going absolutely bonkers. Right, it's a beautiful time of year. It is a beautiful time of year. And our producer, Amy, since I'm wearing the color orange today, she keeps thinking that I look like a pumpkin today. <laughs> I'm blending in with a couple of my graphics. But... I don't think I look like a pumpkin because it's in the middle of October. It's very now. fitting. It's, it's very, very fitting. Yes, We're almost to October, so I'm sure a lot of people are getting excited right. for that. Good morning, Valparaiso University. What's a better way to start your day than with a new jam? And WVUR has just what you need. But if you close your eyes, does it hurt? What makes VU Science Olympiad so special to me is that Starting off now with our future radar, this is starting off at 7 a.m. We'll see partly cloudy skies across the area. As we advance through Monday early morning hours by 11.30 a.m., we'll start to see the rain and clouds increase across the area. And by 4 p.m., we have the moderate rain start to impact the whole area. But that will all leave the area by around midnight on Tuesday. We'll be left with just partly cloudy skies as we go throughout your day on Tuesday. Fact for the day. The Chicago Blackhawks are going to be playing the Minnesota Wild tonight, and I believe that game starts at 8.30. So at the United Center, if you're going to that game, your pregame forecast has a temperature of 54 degrees, clouds building in with those, uh, to those skies as the game will progress because we will see showers coming into the area later in the evening. You may see those coming in at the end of the game where that temperature will be about 52 degrees. Well, it is definitely a bittersweet day here at VU TV Weather today because we are saying goodbye to four seniors who have graced VU TV with their presence and their hard work for the past four years. So we are saying goodbye to Tori Anderson, Blaze Keller, our outgoing weather producer, Dave Caulfield, and our outgoing weather director, Matthew Shaver. From everyone here at VU TV Weather, we wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And don't forget that you are always a Storm Shield meteorologist at heart.